Now I'm going to move on to the lips. Now it was after the brilliant Barry M event on the 20th of May that we got in our goodie bags three of the new lipsticks and this is number 145 which I think is I think it's called Punky Pink and it basically is the most gorgeous shocking pink ever and I had tried this lipstick in MAC, um, MAC's Girl About Town and I didn't buy it because I was still making my mind up and uh, I think I went for some sort of, some sort of um, plum full I think it was instead um, which is slightly more toned down but what I am going to do is go back and buy the lip liner to match um, with this because you re I don't have it yet but line the lips with exactly the same colour and then begin to paint it on now I'm not going to talk while I'm doing this or it'll go horribly wrong I was going to just go with a really subtle sort of um, nutty brown I think I've got it here actually I'm going to use I was going to use this which is MAC um, spice it up and put it on the back of my hand you'll see it's just a nutty brown um, and to go with it I had a lustre glass in bow and then spice lip pencil and I still might I don't know I, I love this colour so much I love this colour so much um, and these <laughs> these are my wedding flowers that I'm having um, in the bouquets so it just goes so well and I might even you know, have one in my hair I don't um, I didn't pull that off my plant by the way that came off today um, because it's been flowering for six months so I think it's had enough and with orchids you know I shouldn't have spoken you kind of know with orchids that they're on their way out and they start to grow new leaves Just an interesting orchid tip there. <laughs> there, so it's kind of a rough um, lipstick. Blot your lipstick and then with a single ply piece of tissue paper, pop that over your lips, dust some translucent powder over the top, pop on another coat. So yes, thank you very M for the amazing launch event. It was such great fun. I've read so many blogs and um, video blogs as well and they were just great. So all I need to say is thank you for the wonderful invitation and it was a great fun afternoon. I wish I could have gone back for the, uh, the show in the evening but I had to go back. Um, and also thank you for the wonderful goodie bag because if you hadn't have given me this colour I probably would have um, never gone for it and decided on, on this sort of look for my own wedding. So now the final part is a bit of sculpting. I have a separate video all about sculpting for your face shape but my face shape is kind of round because it's as wide as it is long. I also have quite a small head as well believe it or not. Um, so I'm going to use Max Shade and Sculpt and this one is in uh, warm light. I'm going to start with the darker shade first. I'm actually not going to put any blush on because of the lipstick it would just unbalance the whole thing so it's not really needed. So we're going to first sculpt under the cheekbone and I'm going to place this first and blend it afterwards. A really good way to find out where to sculpt your cheeks is take a photo and just mark it up so you know how you're doing it. I mean I'm doing it into a video camera because that's actually better than a mirror. Hmm. There, that's pretty good. And then just blend it downwards. Now I'm going to sculpt my jaw. So we're coming under like this and here. You can immediately see that slimmed out, that sort of jowly bit there, which is round. I mean, I'm lucky, I don't have a double chin, but um, this is great for slimming down under the chin, because it's just hiding it a little. It's really good. 
this is a good thing to practice because you don't you still want it to look natural um, at the same time and I'm just going to pop a bit here sort of give you a bit of a shade here but as I said check out my video all about sculpting but the rules are this dark things make things recede and give you hollows and light things bring things out like your cheekbones so next I'm just going to clean off that brush and take the lighter shade and just pop that over the cheek and slightly above because it's it's a bit of blusher and highlight in one because it's kind of quite apricot-y this shade which is really good for my skin tone I've just come in a little closer my goodness this video is getting it's gone past 20 minutes so I think I may have to cut it down into two now just use that long large brush just to even out I need to take a good look make sure they're all nice and nice and uh, straight I'm gonna go down my nose as well because my nose is very thin so I'm gonna take the highlight down the side as well which is very unusual many people are trying to diminish their noses but I'm trying to make mine bigger and then take a dark shade and take it down the side like this I'm trying to make it appear a bit fatter you can see that's pretty much done it actually uh, just going to give it a good blend I don't want it to look dirty I do want it to work and then a slight bit of highlight onto the forehead <laughs> so check me out with my little bridal look I'm going to pop that behind my ear oh it's all good I have to clip it in later And there I am with my little fuchsia bridal look. This isn't how I'm going to have my hair, but I'm, again, not totally sure. But um, mm, I hope you like the, the makeup. The last thing I'm going to do is take a bit of clear lip gloss. This is ELF's Super Glossy. There we go. Do that. You can see it. And it's just a very pale, creamy shade. So I'm going to take my lip, pen, uh, lip brush, pop a tiny bit in the centre of the lips like this mmm that's a very nice shade and a nice smell too so pop on last thing to do is pop on another bit of mascara do as many coats as you want so that your eyelashes really stand out but I hope you like my bridal look um, I, as I said, I'm still playing with this colour combination. I really like it. It's really me, quite funky. Um, but I might chicken out and just go for the um, the less bold, uh, nutty, spicy colour on the lips. But well, I'm pretty happy with it. And I hope you enjoyed it. This video was really long. I'm probably going to cut it down into several parts so that it's easier to follow um, and download. But thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a few days, but I've been really busy. I'll pop in some funny shots of what I've been up to in the last few days and uh, and then maybe you'll understand but anyway I'll see you again soon bye